we wanted to explore exactly how this you know technological giant, really one of the most complicated pieces of software built for this project, uh, really worked together, and particularly lately with the healthcare sign-up, how it failed. And so to do that, we figured the best people to talk to would be the programmers who developed it, right? I mean, you, you want to know why a, a three-course meal went wrong? Well, you talk to the chef. So why don't we talk to the chefs? And we went in and we found some pretty interesting details. A few that we talked to said that they had been rushed. They felt like they had these rush deadlines going back to as far as a year ago. They felt that there were always these changing goalposts when it came to the coding, you know, like I need to insert a snippet of code here, or fix this there, work in late hours, drink in the Red Bulls. And while that's not really un uncommon for a tech rollout at the 11th hour, these guys felt it was unusual because it was that pace most of the time. And unlike some software where you can say, oh, we'll push the release back a couple weeks, this thing is the president's chief policy achievement. It had to be ready by October 1st. This isn't exactly a website where you build to put photos of your dogs and your cats and you share it you know, with you know, your aunt and uncle or something. Like This is a pretty robust, complicated website. And the technical diagrams we saw that it has to interface with dozens of computer systems, down to to see if you worked at the Peace Corps and if you have benefits. So again, with a computer system doing everything you tell it to do, all those pieces have to work right because if there's one holdup, if it's say the computer can't verify you have a social security number, well then it stops dead in its tracks. So this is not, this wasn't a, a trivial rollout, this was a very complicated one, and I think that is going to add to the challenge of having to go back and look at the code and figure out how they can fix it again. What the president is now doing is going back, he said he's going to have, you know, as uh, sort of a tech surge, if you will, to go back, look at this thing from start to finish, and the question remains is, are they going to, you know, patch it like a bike tire, or are they just going to replace the whole bike altogether? And I think that remains to be seen.